Hey everyone, it's Casey from Celebrity Hotspot, and today I'm at Broadway Den Center in New York City with... Lane Knapper. So you just like taught a class, what's that like for you to do that? Well, a lot of people don't know that I do choreograph, besides being an actor, so I choreographed a lot of the episodes of Victorious and uh, a few times on iCarly, Drake and Josh, Zoe 101, so I've done a lot of television and a lot of stage choreography, but today teaching at a studio, Broadway Dance Center in New York City, it's amazing because I teach a commercial class on Mondays and I teach a theater class on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and those classes are awesome because we get a lot of the Broadway community to come in, so to be able to work with them and uh, do the choreography for them, for their bodies, it moves me like you wouldn't believe, like I look so forward to teaching and being able to use different music music, different combinations. It's just so cool. So like what's your favorite part about teach, like, teaching the students and then seeing them pick it up and then like, just, like show it off? Actually just to perform it. Like once we learn it, like just seeing the process because all of that stuff you guys see on TV, uh, television choreography, shows like Glee and Victorious and Smash and those type shows, it starts with the rehearsal. The dancers have to pick up the choreography, and if you're not a dancer, if you're an actor or a singer, you still got to pick up the movement. And then once it comes together and the costumes and the lights and the design, all of it makes for one big production. So in class, we learn the choreography and then we perform it. But in my mind, I see them dressed. I see the sets. I see it all. It's awesome. Do you have a favorite part about teaching the class? Like a favorite, like like maybe like part of like the show, like the routine? I think once they get it, and then I can step out and just watch. I like to move around. I videotape all of my classes. So to see them get it, and in some of my classes, I actually have them sing because I want to prepare them for like Broadway or whatever. Yeah. So once they get the combination, I'll have them sing the song. And sometimes they freak out, which is kind of cool to see them freak out. But when they get it, it looks tight. And I just, I don't know, I'm just so excited. I'm so motivated by watching them. They really inspire me to do better. Yeah. So it's cool. So how is it like different teaching Broadway style to like TV, television? Well, f when you choreograph for theater, it's about width. When you choreograph for television, it's about depth. So as a choreographer, you kind of have to know that. Yeah. So um, it's cool. When I'm in here, y you have more width. And sometimes, depending upon the room, you have the depth, but you just got to manipulate it. So a lot of times when I'm teaching these classes, I'm actually working on future routines so that I can pull from them if I need to, you know. Today we did like this enchanted type thing. It was like a ball that you might see in Wicked or something like Cinderella or Once Upon a Time. It was that kind of thing. And we used music from Frozen, not Let It Go. We used Love as an Open Door because I've heard Let It Go so much. If I let it go anymore, I might not ever pick it back up. <laughs> Anyway. Do you have a favorite dance you've taught so far here? Like a favorite Honestly, dance? like it goes from week to week. Sometimes it really just depends. Like earlier today I did a tap number to uh, King of New York from Newsies. And uh, I don't know if y'all have seen Aladdin yet on Broadway, but it's amazing. And once that soundtrack comes out, I know I'm going to use it for other, other pieces because it was really good music. So depending upon the music, how I'm moving, how I'm feeling, and plus the energy of the class, it just, it, they all come together. So once that all, you know, forms yeah. it takes it to a new level so it's cool so like what is it like seeing like the stars on Nickelodeon and like television shows like learn the choreography are they like hesitant about it or they do, like want to take it up like what is that like well like with Victoria Justice and Jeanette McCurdy Victoria was from Victorious and Jeanette McCurdy was from My Carly those two dove in they just what have you got and they just did it sometimes on other shows some people are a little more standoffish I think yeah. although I gotta say Drake and Josh we did this big dance number the episode was called dance contest and they jumped in in fact they both dance like like naturally yeah. they just picked it up and Drake actually started taking tap lessons after that and he was picking it up so it's cool it depends upon the the celebrity or the person you're working with the artist a lot of times they can either be hesitant because they've never done it or they're just like let's do this and they just dive right in and that's that makes for a pretty cool routine it's fun so what's it like seeing your work on television when it airs like it's cool, but the thing that a lot of people don't know, when you see television choreography, they switch the camera angle every three seconds, every three to five seconds. I love the old MGM musicals where you could see the choreography in its entirety. Like if you look at the old Gene Kelly routines and old Fred Astaire routines, those routines were shot in their entirety. Very, very little camera angles or editing. 
Although, in my opinion, when I see these TV shows, it goes from this to this to this. So they chop it up so much. A lot of the choreography that I've seen when we're rehearsing isn't what I see when the final product comes out. But it goes with the territory, you know. Yeah. Do you have any other upcoming projects? Like, what are you working on right now? Well, the last thing I did for Nickelodeon, I did an episode of Sam and Cat, where um, it was called um, something about a commercial. Something. I want to say I commercial, but I'm thinking of I Carly, and that's not it. But uh, it's about a dog and this girl, and I choreographed that routine. And it was a lot of fun to do that. Um, I'm also with a new management team now, Jackie Reed. And actually, Jackie Reed is Mikey Reed, who played Sinjin on Victorious. It's his mother. I didn't know she was a manager, but she manages me, and she is awesome. And so she's been trying to get me out there. I just actually booked something on Instant Mom, but we had to turn it down. Cause, well, no, because we... Anyway, there's, there's reason. It was all good, though. I love that show. Uh, we're just waiting for something a little bigger uh, in terms of lines and dialogue, but the show is awesome. And then I'm also, for choreography, I'm with MTA, Movement Talent Agency, with Jim Keith, and uh, they're starting to get me out there in the choreography world. So when I'm not acting, I'm doing choreography. When I'm doing choreography, I'm acting. Thank God I'm able to do it all, and I love doing it. Besides those two things, though, I'm also a, an acting coach. So I'm working with a lot of the Broadway community, a lot of the television community, one-on-one -on -one doing acting privates, getting them ready for pilot season, and just getting them out there. So life is really good right now. Do you still work with Camp Pulse and stuff like that? Yes, or, or that like with Camp Pulse. We're actually about to do a new photo shoot for the new season that's coming up. And for those who don't know, Camp Pulse is now offering acting classes which is amazing all of these kids are coming out they're getting actual scripts you know from some of their shows that they might watch on TV and uh, it's been amazing to see dancers get a chance to act the kids are loving it the classes are getting bigger but it's so much fun so come to Camp Pulse and come to one of the acting workshops you're gonna love it even if you've never acted before just get there you are going to love it You've also got like a lot of fans and like supporters off doing this. Have you had a crazy or most memorable one? That you've had so Not so much crazy. Um, I have a lot of Twitter followers and I have to tell you, I really try my best to tweet everybody back. Anybody who follows me, if they tweet me, if I'm there, I'm going to tweet them back. And I've actually met with a lot of them. Like I've met a lot of good people. There's Joe and his brother Nikki. I've met them. You two I met on Twitter, which was awesome. And uh, there's just a lot of Twitter people who are my friends now because of Twitter. Yeah. And uh, there's a group of them on Monday who we're, we're all supposed to get together. Now, some of them I haven't met yet, but some of them I know. So we're all getting together in New York on Monday. So it's pretty cool. So like where can your fans find you on Twitter, like social media, like Instagram okay. if you have that? Well, for, for, uh, for social media, I have Twitter, which is Lane, L-A-N-E, Napper, N-A-P-P-E-R, that's me, Lane Napper, for Twitter. And I'm getting a new website. It's being constructed now. It's going to be insane. It's going to have a lot of information on it, a lot of updates. You can find out what I'm doing, where I'm going to be next. And... Uh, yeah, please follow me on Twitter, and I'll tweet you back. Tell me, tell me that you saw me here. Mention them, and uh, I'll definitely tweet you back. Well, thank you so much for speaking with me today. I am Emily Royston. I am originally from Pennsylvania and I now live here in New York City. I actually started taking Lane's class when I was about 10. Um, I just happened to walk in, take it, and then we started doing acting classes with him. Um, and then I didn't take it for a while and I just moved here last year and I started taking class again. So now I'm 23 and taking his class. <laughs> I am hoping to be on Broadway someday uh, in the near future, so his class can help me do that, pick up combinations quickly, intricate movement, performance. My name is Daniel Bjorn and I'm from Sweden. I moved to New York about eight months ago to start at ISVP program, International Student Visa program, here at Broadway Dance Center, and I started taking Lane's classes about yeah, four or six months ago and I loved it from the start. He he is actually one of the few teachers that could tell me specific things about um, how to stand in the relevy, like stuff I didn't know at all and which is perfect for me and I really really learned a lot. 
I'm Francesca Santoro and I moved to New York in January. I'm actually still a senior in college. I'm finishing up my degree and we study in the city and because of that like part of our tuition is we take classes at Broadway Dance Center and Lane's was actually the first class that I ever took and you know my goal is to be on Broadway and also be in television and film and that part of the dance industry and Lane's class is so much fun but it's also so intricate and he's not so many people are about like let me throw a bunch of really like crazy looking stuff at you and his is about like feeling through the movement which is really cool because that's what dance is is it's feeling and expressing through your body so I love his class